Yo, what is going on Fantasy Addicts? So if you guys are new to this channel, I do fantasy football content and as well as NFL breaking news. Today we are covering the breaking news of Derrick Henry signing a four-year contract with the Tennessee Titans. This contract is worth $50 million, including $25.5 million guaranteed, according to Adam Schefter. So there are quite a few parts of this contract that I would like to cover right here. We're going to keep it as brief as possible so you guys can get along with your day, but I want to provide you with the necessary content for both real-life NFL and fantasy football. So to start, what do I think of this trade? Well, remember, we have seen a few other running backs get big contracts. Notably, this offseason, Christian McCaffrey with $16 million per year and Zeke with $15 million per year. Derrick Henry is $12.5 million per year, so a little less, but kind of similar to those other two players. But before this season, we saw Le'Veon Bell and David Johnson both get around $13 million per year, and we all kind of know how that went. And the thing is, they both signed those contracts when they were about Derrick Henry's age, about 26 years old. We know that running backs are in their prime when they're about 24 to 25, have a small fall off when they're 26, 27, and then 28 is when they really start to decline. So Derrick Henry is getting up there in age. He is a little different, however, because he doesn't have as many carries as other players have had in the past when they were about 26 years old, like Le'Veon Bell, he had many more carries than Derrick Henry did at this point. But nonetheless, Derrick Henry is a physical player and physicality definitely decreases as age increases. So with that being said, I do think that Derrick Henry is not going to fall off like David Johnson did. And I think that for this season and for next season, this might be a decent contract. I, I really do. I think that he was definitely the backbone of this offense. Ryan Tannehill is not the reason why they made the playoffs. Yes, they were a completely different team when Ryan Tannehill came in for Marcus Mariota, but the only reason that they made the playoffs was because Derrick Henry's game absolutely shined, and Ryan Tannehill just knew what to do with him. Derrick Henry deserves a contract more than Ryan Tannehill, I would say, at least for the next two years. If this was a two-year contract, I think he'd be worth $15 million a year. But because it's four years, I really don't see him being a top five running back for more than the next two years. I just don't see it. There's going to be guys who are better than him. Now, don't get me wrong. I love this guy. I think he deserves the bag that he got. I really do. He carried this team. He is going to carry them for the next two years. If Ryan Tannehill is getting $30 million a year, Derrick Henry absolutely deserves $12.5 million a year. But... I do think that this may hurt the team in 2022 and 2023, but for 2020 and 2021, it probably is very good for Derrick Henry and the Tennessee Titans. Now, I think that for the next two years, this just solidifies Derrick Henry's importance to this team. We now know that the Titans plan on using Derrick Henry as their long-term back. I mean, we already should have expected it, but now this is confirmed. We know that the Titans are going to use Derrick Henry as their future as the running back of their future. I mean, he already is kind of halfway through his career, but you know what I mean? He's going to be there for years to come and the Titans plan on using this guy a lot for sure. So, it's definitely good for his fantasy value for this season. We know that he's getting a contract now. He already signed a contract. It is mediocre for Ryan Tannehill. Maybe it's even better just because with Derrick Henry there, People are going to start stacking the boxes. And Ryan Tannehill's connection with A.J. Brown could be improved with Derrick Henry being there because no teams are going to be able to put too much pressure onto A.J. Brown. Then, of course, Jonu Smith and Corey Davis are going to be found wide open quite a few times with Derrick Henry attracting so much attention from defenses. In terms of dynasty, obviously, the main factor here is Derrick Henry. Great for his dynasty value. He should be on this team for four more years unless he gets traded or cut like players did such as David Johnson and Le'Veon Bell. But assuming that doesn't happen, we know that Derrick Henry should have a team for the next four years and should be an RB1 for the next four years. He'll be a borderline RB1 
three and four years from now, I would say. But he definitely could be an RB1 for the next four years straight. So for Dynasty, great for Derrick Henry. For redraft, for 2020, it's good for him, good for Ryan Tannehill, good for A.J. Brown, just good for the team overall, I think. I think this team should definitely be good this season as well as next season. But like I said, in three and four years from now, I'm not quite sure how this is going to look. But we'll see how this deal works out in the next few years. Not sure how he's going to be in a few years, but I know that for this season and next season, it definitely should be a good deal for him, Ryan Tannehill, everyone on this team, and just for this team in general. They should be a playoff team. I think this is a great team. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. In case you are new here, as you can tell from my name here on YouTube, I provide fantasy football content. I do it almost every single day. I try to put out about six, seven fantasy football videos each week. Of course, I also provide NFL breaking news content as well, like this Derrick Henry signing. But my main thing is definitely fantasy football content. So if you like fantasy football content, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you can get fantasy football content almost every single day. And if you just like to get breaking news in your YouTube feed, also make sure to hit that subscribe button because even though my main thing is fantasy football, I always make sure to provide you guys content with that NFL breaking news as quickly as possible. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below what you think of this trade. Do you think this is a good trade for the Titans? Or do you think it's kind of going to hurt them in the long run? Let me know. I want to hear what you guys think of this. If you enjoyed, make sure to hit that like button as well. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you next time. Peace.